Hey, my name is Matt. I'm a snowboard expert here at Curate. Today we are at Powder Mountain testing out the LibTech Golden Orca. Just so you guys know, we're not sponsored by any brands. All of these reviews are completely unbiased. The brand claims that the Golden Orca is a blend of the Orca and the Travis Rice Pro, and it definitely lives up to a phenomenal all-mountain experience. Um, it runs their C2X camber, which to me very much felt like regular camber today in all the right spots. This thing was a blast. I like regular cambered snowboards and get really skeptical when I see any type of rocker. This board kind of destroyed all that for me. It has me rethinking when I think about some of these profiles. It's ready to rip and charge. Like I've ridden trees, bumps, and really boosted off side hits. And I'm kind of in love with this snowboard. This board honestly rode like a dream. It was super floaty, super fun to turn, really carved well. And don't forget, if you need help finding gear for yourself, reach out to me and I will make sure we get you hooked up with the perfect snowboard. One thing I love about Liptex is they all feature the magnet traction. If you're not familiar, super sharp edge. It's like a serrated knife, literally cuts into all the ice. Edge to edge, this thing held really well. Whether I was on my toe or on my heel, I was able to get that grip and cut into the snow when I needed to. I was surprised how stable this board was. It could have been a little bit stiffer in my opinion. Definitely had a little bit of chatter. I noticed if I was bombing, it really wanted me to get on the edges. You can't really ride this thing flat. You're gonna have to turn it and be able to carve. I was curious about two things. The sizing, which did not prove to be any concern whatsoever. Um, if anything, this was one of the more stable boards I rode all week. And then the other concern I had in mind was potentially riding it switch due to the setback stance, but I can see why they merged two great boards together. The twin feel of the T-Rise Pro definitely exists within the Golden Orca. So if you're looking to ride Switch, you'll definitely feel a touch of a difference. Typically, I kind of get worried about putting that type of money into investing in a snowboard, but I really do feel that it is very much the apex predator that they try to market the snowboard as. Really, we don't want to put a total beginner on this Golden Orca. I'd recommend this snowboard for any intermediate or advanced rider looking for a playful volume shifted option. One thing we look for in a volume shifted board is how wide and long it is. Really, when we go volume shifted, we're taking that length and we're putting it in the width. That's gonna make the board float a little better. It's gonna make it ride super unique. I'm six foot, 150 pounds. These boards are kind of tricky to size up. Um, sometimes if you're a little bit taller, you want to actually size down if you're if you're lighter. That's I feel like everyone with these orcas that it's so hard to know your size. So any little reference you get there, if that size is up to you. Um, but feel free to reach out to a curated expert. We'll make sure to get you on the right board.